Hey everybody, Gary Fong here, and today I get to talk about my favorite topic, Shungite, and its medically published health benefits, and I'm also going to shed a light on the misinformation campaign regarding Shungite and its properties. I'm going to zone in specifically on Wikipedia's description of Shungite and show how it does not concur at all with peer-reviewed published medical studies. I'm really excited to introduce to you the tool that I use for medical research. It's powered by ChatGPT 4.0. It's called Called consensus and it's an AI research assistant that not only gives science-based answers but provides accurate citations or sources. You can actually read the articles that generate the citations. Today I'm going to use it to debunk a lot of disinformation about Shungite from sources that might be misleading you and I welcome you to do the same. Consensus is available for free on the internet and you can type in things like whatever you want to type. Um, and it'll generate over from over 200 million research articles, it'll show you the consensus of what those things say. Kind of like a Rotten Tomatoes for medical research. As many of you know, I'm a huge fan of Shungite. My journey with the minerals started with symptoms like head fog, ringing in the ears, and rapid heartbeat. Symptoms that intensified with the rise of 5G towers near my home. The moment I put on my first Shungite pendant, my symptoms were instantly cured. I could sleep calmly through the night again with a sense of peace I hadn't experienced in years. So as a former student of radiology and nuclear medicine at UCLA Medical School and with a degree in pharmacology from UC Santa Barbara, I was intrigued and I wanted to dive deep into the medical literature about Shungite. And also what I found while searching was a massive disinformation campaign which includes Wikipedia. Let's take a look at Wikipedia. Now Wikipedia describes Shungite as being most widely known for pseudoscientific and quack medical claims. Now is quack an encyclopedic neutral term? Um, is that something that you would see in Encyclopedia Britannica? This really kind of devalues the um, reliability of Wikipedia when it says things like quack medicine. I'm just going to ask a uh, consensus. Is this stuff used in medicine and technology? So let's ask, is Shungite used in medicine and technology? Okay, so we're just going to let it go through its massive database. Can you imagine 200 million articles looking for the answer to, is Shungite used in medicine and technology? And here is the result. Shungite, a natural carbon-containing material, is increasingly being studied for its applications in both medicine and technology. Here's a summary of its uses based on recent research. Medicine. Shungite has been explored for its potential health benefits. It has been used in treatments for drinking water due to its absorption properties and antibacterial effects, although it can release heavy metals into the water. And I looked up this article, and the heavy metals are released by Shungite type 3, 4, and SA. Now, those are different types of purity. I only sell at my store Shungite type 1 and Shungite type 2. However, type 3, 4, and SA are commercially available, as well as a lot of fake Shungite. And for this purpose, we designed a really cool Shungite water decanter that allows you to bathe your water in Shungite without you having to drink it because there's a filter sieve in it and it allows you to constantly recharge your drinking water with Shungite treated water. Um, down here, this material is also utilized in the production of radio absorbing materials helping to mitigate the effects of electromagnetic fields. There you go. Uh, research has highlighted its role in supporting the development of bifunctional oxygen ca electrocatalysts for metals, air batteries, and regenerative fuel cells, showcasing its versatility in high-tech applications. So the conclusion is, Shungite offers significant potential due to its unique properties in both medical and technological applications, especially in water treatment and as a component in advanced med uh, material science. So if any of you are Wikipedia editors can you go in and fix this because it hurts Wikipedia and it also it, to say something that's most widely known for quack medical claims when I've just disproved it someone's got to fix that because we need to make sure that the truth is out there and not confusing misinformation 
Now, uh, uh, let's see. Wikipedia also goes on to say where it is claimed to have properties ranging from nebulous health benefits to blocking 5G radiation. So, <clears throat> let's ask, um, can shungite block radiation damage? Can shungite block radiation damage? Okay, so now it's going through its database and it's coming up with the sources, the consensus, and basically what the studies show. Get this. Shungite has been studied for its potential to block radiation, particularly in the context of electromagnetic radiation. Here are the key findings from recent research. Now this is recent, like 2021. Shungite plates, even if they're very thin, um, have shown good electromagnetic shielding effectiveness, demonstrating similar performance to thicker synthetic composites. This suggests that shungite could be effective in blocking electromagnetic radiation due to its unique composite structure of conductive carbon and dielectric mineral inclusions. And this is a 2021 study. You can click on it and it'll pop up and it'll give you a key uh, takeaway. It'll, for those of you science uh, scientists out there, you can read the entire thing, find out the methodology of the experiment and um, the control group, the subject group, the test group, and everything like that, how many were used in the test, um, all of that. But again, these are peer-reviewed uh, published articles. In conclusion, it says, these studies suggest that shungite can be effective in blocking certain types of radiation, particularly electromagnetic radiation, which could have practical applications in shielding and protective materials. Okay, so it is claimed according to Wikipedia, to have properties ranging from nebulous health benefits to blocking 5G radiation. Now, Shungite is known for containing fullerenes, which have unique properties. Now, fullerene is a C60 uh, cluster of carbon molecules that have been put together like a soccer ball. It's called a Buckminster fullerene or a buckyball, or I'm going to call it fullerenes. And if you Google fullerenes and Nobel Prize, you'll find some really cool things about the power of the fullerenes. So what are the health benefits of these fullerenes? Because that's the operative active ingredient in shungite. So I'm going to type in here, what are the health benefits to fullerenes? Fullerenes, particularly C60, are well regarded for the unique properties and potential health benefits, which have been the subject of considerable scientific research. Here are some of the health, key health benefits of fullerenes based on the findings from recent studies. Number one, antioxidant and free radical scavenger. Fullerenes are recognizing for their strong antioxidant properties acting as radical scavengers. This ability helps in reducing oxidative stress in cells, which is a significant factor in aging and many chronic diseases. Aging and chronic diseases. Now, I'm 63 years old. I've been using shungite, wearing it everywhere, uh, for the last, I think, it's, yeah, seven years now and I feel incredible. I feel so energetic and so healthy. Um, so, you know, one can read, uh, read the research and then one can actually adopt it into your life and see how it actually works. Um, number two, photodynamic therapy. Due to their unique electronic properties, fullerenes can be activated by light to produce reactive oxygen species that are effective in killing pathogenic cells uh, pathogenic cells are uh, disease cells, making them useful in photodynamic therapy, forget this, treating cancers and microbial infections. Guys, please take a moment and share this to all the people that you know and love because you're not going to get this information unless someone told you about consensus, unless someone told you about shungite, unless someone told you about how to look these things up because this is important information that you're not going to get on the mainstream kind of, uh, you know, drug-based agenda uh, news. Uh, drug and gene delivery systems. Fullerenes have been explored as carriers for drugs and genes due to their ability to cross cellular membranes without significant toxicity. It's a vector for carrying 
um, active things into uh, cells. This pro property is crucial for targeted delivery system enhancing the effectiveness of therapeutic agents. And this is a 2011 study. Uh, HIV protease inhibition. This is big. This is talking about antiviral properties. Fullerenes can fit inside the hydrophobic, that means water resistant cavity, of HIV proteases. Uh, that's an enzyme, the, the active enzyme, potentially inhibiting the enzyme's activity. This action can prevent the virus from replicating, offering a novel approach to HIV treatment. Number five, neuroprotective effects, people with Alzheimer's. There is growing evidence suggesting that fullerenes may offer neuroprotective effects potentially useful in treating neurodegenerative diseases due to their ability to modulate oxidative stress and mitochondrial function. So in conclusion, these studies underline the potential of fullerenes in various medicinal applications from disease treatment to enhancing drug delivery system, le systems, leveraging their unique chemical structure and properties. Mainstream sources like Wikipedia, probably Snopes or whatever it is, will not tell you about Shungite's miraculous properties that are coming out in emerging research. This is extremely important. Again, I want to put this up against the, the kind of the comparison. If there was a drug, if there was a pill that you could take that would give you anti-cancer, antiviral, lifespan extension, um, EMF protection, it sounds like quack science, which is what Wikipedia claims that Shungite is. I've just proven that it's not quack science. So please, please, please get the word out, like, subscribe, share, so that this doesn't get shadow banned, and because um, that's the way the algorithms work. And let's get the truth out there. And please support my website at verifiedshungite.com. I have so many cool products that are Shungite related. I've got beautiful, beautiful products. All of them are hand tested by me. And when you look at the site, they'll say, wow, there's not a lot of inventory. It's because I don't want to put out anything that's fake. And there's so much fake Shungite out there. Okay. So thank you for watching. And uh, please, again, like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.